Good morning, folks. Today we're going to hit some key science news, but we are also using Proba 2 swap solar images today because that's all we've got. Luckily, we can tell it's been a very quiet day on our star. Let's get right into it. Now, we're on Proba 2 because Helio Viewer is down and the SDO site hasn't updated since lunch yesterday anyway, but with the X-ray flux showing no solar flares and no radio bursts indicating CME launching, the Proba 2 swap images showing a very calm day on our star and despite its lower resolution, it is good enough to see that. Beyond that, we know there are no dangerous sunspots facing Earth at the moment. Those ones on the left are peak watch when they turn into face Earth, but that's a couple days away. And if any CMEs had erupted, we would have seen them leaving the sun as we were watching the great comet leave the frame. Goodbye to that one, by the way. Perhaps the most noteworthy item in space weather is that Earth has been riding just on the edge of a coronal hole stream for two days. Slightly faster plasma speed to the solar wind, the bulk has not reached us yet. The speed could continue rising for the rest of the week here. Let's go next to some eye candy from James Webb. Not only is it able to spot intricate details of dust through its unique infrared eyes, but it's capturing how those details change over time. Absolutely stunning. But it also did it with a Wolf Ray star and expanding dust shells around it. You can clearly see the expansion from year to year. Astronomy actually getting a bit more fun these days. Up next, I'm hoping some of you saw this, maybe even just my Twitter post about it. Melting snow has revealed a 6,000-year-old forest right here in my backyard of Colorado. This is big for a couple reasons. First, it is currently above the tree line, which means it was warmer 6,000 years ago than it is right now. Second, it was obliterated in the disaster event 6,000 years ago, the Tian Chi excursion, the NOAA event, and it has been preserved since then. Top Story looks at a potential indicator of the current excursion, the Earth disaster cycle reset happening now. Hydroxyl oxidation capacity of the atmosphere is increasing. This is actually a good thing since it cleans the atmosphere of literally any pollutant. But what's interesting is that OH production occurs via sunlight hitting ozone in the presence of water vapor, and there's more vapor present due to the changes already taking place on our planet, and more UV is impacting the ozone layer right now because Earth's magnetic field is changing. Subtle, but definitive. And in this case, hey, this one's on our side. A good change caused by the pole shift. If you didn't hear the big news yesterday, yes, we are finally going to be changing the name from Suspicious Observers to Space Weather News. I've wanted to do it for a while, but I promise there will be callbacks, respect, memorialization, apropos, and one final run of the SO gear. Also, folks, tomorrow our monthly issue of the e-magazine comes out. This one is a doozy. Be sure to check that email tomorrow afternoon. This is the best publication out there on the sun, earth, pole shift, and Earth's disaster cycle. If you are not subscribed, sign up at the link below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.